What's up, fish tank people? Dustin's Fish Tanks bring it to you with the minivan Monday. Oh, what? What does minivans have to do with fish tanks? I'm gonna tell you. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how a fish tank actually ruined part of my wife's minivan. This is a Toyota Sienna minivan. This is a hell of a vehicle. Let me tell you right now. As a kid growing up, my mom had a Pontiac Transport. This is a Toyota Sienna minivan. This thing crushes everything. This van was purchased because we have that Lexus over there, and that Lexus basically never dies, even though it's got 140,000 dusted miles on it, because I'm extremely hard on cars. Look at this van. Look at how great this van is. It's got the five-star rims. It's got the sliding door. All you got to do is touch it. It opens on its own. You can lug fish tanks. You got the little button right here you can press, so it closes on its own. It's got room for a car seat here. It's got room for a car seat back there. And most importantly, it can haul a ridiculous amount of fish tank stuff. Yeah, this minivan is pimping. I've driven it up to Chicago uh, twice, actually, and loaded a 320-gallon aquarium into it. Minivans are great for aquariums. Look, I could fit an entire 55 right here, and in fact, I've actually fit a 320-gallon aquarium all the way here. It's fantastic. In fact, I'm not the only one who keeps minivans to keep aquariums. My buddy Mike Barber owns not one, but two Honda Odyssey minivans, and all he does is lug around fish tanks as well. Minivans for fish tanks are the bomb. This minivan's the bomb. It's got this cord right here. All I gotta do is plug my iPhone in and then I can listen to Joe Rogan Experience or I can listen to Sasha live at whatever awesome place he's playing the sick electronic beats that I wanna hear on my way to wherever I'm trying to go. But there's a problem with this van. And that problem is simple. This van is not mine. Yeah, I went up to Dry Ridge Toyota up north of us here. By the way, Dry Ridge Toyota, don't buy a car from them. They're terrible. It took forever to get out of there. But I did purchase this van around my 35th birthday. This van is not for me. It's for my wife. It's my wife's car. This is the woman who makes me food. This is the woman who folds my laundry, okay? This is the wife who cleans up my house and picks up my kids every day at 2.30 while I can make videos for you all. This van is not property of Dustin. This right here, folks, is a crack in the windshield of my wife's minivan. This was caused by Dustin from Dustin's Fish Tanks. Let me explain. You see, while it's a beautiful day right here today, it was actually butt cold freezing just a couple weeks ago. And what happens when it's butt cold freezing and your car is outside, the windshield gets covered with ice and snow and it packs on there. My wife is from Kentucky. She is not from Northern Ohio. She does not understand how to deal with snow. In fact, she hates snow. She doesn't like being cold. And generally speaking, everyone in this entire state doesn't really know how to deal with snow, like those of us from the North. This van was covered in snow, ice, or what have you. So what do we do? We hopped in the van and we started the van up to heat the thing up so we could get the windshield warmed up. So what do we do? Well, me being a gentleman and being from the North and not wanting to piss off my wife, I went inside and I grabbed the keys to this minivan and while it was cold and freezing and miserable, I went and I started the minivan and I turned the heat up on full blast. Heat is on full blast. I'm hoping to melt any of the ice and snow that is covering the windshield. Here's the problem. You see, just like with aquariums, this beautiful Toyota Sienna minivan has a cracked windshield because when you have a hot surface on the inside and a cold surface on the outside, glass is not like this and glass will crack. And that is exactly what happened with this beautiful Toyota Sienna minivan. The windshield is now cracked because there was hot air coming from the inside and it was ice cold, butt cold freezing on the outside. And what does this have to do with fish tanks, you're probably wondering. I'll tell you exactly what it has to do with fish tanks. This. This is my garage. My wife cannot pull in the garage. She has not pulled in the garage for a number of months, maybe even over a year because of my fish tank problem. This right here is a 320 gallon aquarium. While this might be the main problem, the reality of it is all this crap over here is also fish tank crap that is not being removed and my wife cannot pull into the garage. So you see folks, my fish tank problem actually caused my wife's windshield to crack on her Toyota Sienna minivan. And you know what she did about it? She confessed it the other night at dinner. Yes folks, we were out to dinner. I was actually eating a dinner that was paid for by a bunch of super chats when I went live. So uh, thank you all of you for actually paying for my wife to come out and confess this. And she said, uh, I have something to tell you. And I said, oh man, here it comes. And I didn't think it was gonna be anything major, but she, uh, she said, and I'm gonna quote her here just to make sure I don't screw it up. She said, quote, there was a bunch of stuff that looked like it might break. I kicked that. Yes, folks, my wife finally took her fish tank aggression out on some of my fish tank crap in the garage and kicked it. Here's the best part. I have so much fish tank crap in my garage, I think my wife actually owes me a broken aquarium. Like if I were to go in there and she actually had just taken one, picked it up and slammed it on the ground and broke it with glass, I feel like we'd be about even. That's what's up fish tank people. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe, drop me a comment on how your wife or significant other deals with your terrible fish tank hobby or your loving hobby and tank on. Later.